So my name is Derek Burke, I'm the EMEA Marketing Director and Channels Director for Planasis and we are here at Supercomputing in 2009 to talk about our latest hybrid storage solution. So the Active Store Series 9 storage solution that we've just announced is uh, the first high performance storage solution from the Planasis lineup that includes solid state drives. And what the introduction of the solid state drives does into the technology is actually allow us not only to offer extremely high aggregate bandwidth performance, but also to offer extremely high IOPS performance and random IO performance from the same storage solution, still offering the Panasis file system with the global namespace and extremely high performance. So we're offering two different levels of performance in terms of random IO and, and aggregate bandwidth for more synchronous IO patterns, all within a single solution within the Panasis environment. Okay, so many of our customers in the high performance computing market today are running larger models on their high performance compute clusters. They're running more iterations of the jobs that they're, they're doing. And they're also um, looking to expand their simulation into new areas, which perhaps would introduce more complex algorithms that they're running on their applications. So as that happens, they're actually having a higher demand for storage, both in terms of capacity, because the model sizes are larger, the data is larger, and in terms of performance, because they're running more complex algorithms, running larger models across more nodes. So we've introduced higher capacity drives into the solution, which offers a higher capacity or higher density per footprint. And many of our customers are implementing petabyte uh, level solutions within their environment and what the increased density does is allow them to introduce much more storage within a, a smaller footprint from Panasis. So the Panasis solution allows you to actually add performance and capacity in a modular fashion. Now how we do that is we actually provide a shell, so the solution comes in the, the form of a 4U shell. As you add more shells, you add more capacity and more performance at the same time. So in a single 4U shelf today, we have up to 40 terabytes of storage capacity and up to 600 megabytes per second in terms of aggregate bandwidth. If you add another shelf, you have 80 terabytes of capacity and up to 1.2 gigabytes per second of aggregate bandwidth. That scales within a single instance of the file system to multiple petabytes uh, within a single instance. And also we have a customer actually using up to 60 gigabytes per second in production today. So it scales to tens of gigabytes per second in terms of aggregate bandwidth and it scales to multiple petabytes in terms of a single uh, capacity within a single instance of the file system. And it scales in a modular fashion. So it's a really, really neat solution. So Panasis customers today range from the commercial space, so we have customers in manufacturing, in automotive, aerospace and general manufacturing, many customers in the energy sector, doing seismic processing and large scale visualization for reservoir simulation purposes. We have customers in the electronic design automation, so uh, extremely large processor manufacturers as an example. On the other side, the non-commercial side, we have many, many customers in academia and actually the Panasis company Roots are in academia, so we were born out of uh, an academic environment. And we also have many customers in, in research, be that government or academic uh, large-scale research environments as well. So with regards to PNFS, Panasis actually proposed the original problem statement along with a couple of other organizations to the IETF for PNFS. PNFS is uh, a client, so you would still require an underlying uh, parallel file storage solution for to get the parallel performance from PNFS. We suspect that PNFS will roll into NFS version 4.1. We suspect that it will be part of the operating system, Linux operating system distributions, probably around 2011, 2012. So for people that didn't make it to the show today, if they go to panasis.com, there's a whole wealth of information. I'm Derek Burke, Director of Marketing from Panasis. Thank you for listening to us today and we hope to see you very soon. Thank you.